Hello, this is a Model 10 Bechstein Upright Piano made in 1907, 130 centimetres tall. Now, we had this in stock a while ago. We've worked on the piano and uh, it's been rented out for a long period of time. I think about a year and a bit, an academic, I think, who was needing a piano and lived in Oxford. Um, so there is a video of this already. Uh, just uh, going through it again, just to see if anything else needed doing to it. And, and also noting, noting that this is what we call faded rosewood. I've recently made a video of a faded rosewood um, model eight uh, because uh, the client was thinking about getting it repolished. And if you do, it ends up more like that. Uh, that's a natural rosewood. Faded rosewood is very popular. Natural rosewood is very beautiful. You, if we repolished it, it brings out more of the grain. Uh, this is in our polishing room. We've just finished off this Beckstein Model 5 Grand Piano. Um, 70 hours plus of, of work, really. So 30 coats of French polish and then waxing. Um, so obviously that adds a huge amount to the price. So obviously it can be done on this um, faded rosewood. You can see there's a slight defect there where it's for some reason not faded so much, or was more original rosewood. But I think for that, you, they've covered up the, the, the holes there with this, where the sconces candelabra were. You can see on the other one, uh, that's still got this bracket on. Um, so there's, there's choices to be made. If we can obviously put candelabra on. Uh, sconces are the proper name for them. Uh, but the case generally is good. It's been repolished on the inside too, um, rather the inside of the top lid. So that's often left in the original colour, so you can see the difference. Um, and there's the top of the piano. So it's a very smart looking piano. My colleague, our pol polisher, pointed out that it has had a repair done here, um, but it seems to be fine, 100%, not, not really a problem, but that's important to know about. Uh, and uh, he's he disguised as much as possible defects, but you can see uh, that it's not been possible to disguise everything. So that's important to know, really. And uh, the, the, the piano it's, has been restored by a well-known Beckstein restorer. Um, if you buy the piano, I'll give you all the information. We have a bit of paperwork, actually. And uh, you can see that the res restoration has been done extremely well. This firm does a lot of Beckstein, so uh, they know what they're doing. Very sweet sounding. And the tenor too. Now we just say the bass isn't very full because it's a straight strung piano. So uh, although the bass isn't full, the tenor has actually got longer strings than the Model 9, which is the overstrung, but a Beckstein of the same period. And also the damping tends to be better because on the other one, you, you've got to, the dampers are shorter because they have to cross over and you've got to fit them in. So there's beautiful damping on this one. It's got a beautifully sweet sound. So on the assessment worksheet, there's not a lot of work we put down here because it's been done before. Um, the working on the size of the shafts, I noticed that we hadn't, hadn't coloured those in. It's obviously just cosmetic that, so not important from the musical point of view. And buffing the keys. Uh, they tend to attract dirt if they're not shiny, so that's, uh, they're not that much you need a buffing, but it's, we will do that because it's come back in again. Fine voicing, just checking out to see if all the hammers are uh, all the same tone of each other, and very slight pitch raise. Apart from that, it's been pretty a uh, clean bill of health. I think we might lubricate the balance rail a bit. I t tended to detect a little bit of stickiness there, but very, very slight. And you can see here, uh, that really, that the touch is pretty good, so 52 we're aiming for there. Four grams difference is acceptable. Um, 50 on that, so these, these are all correct, 48. Um, pretty much within the range that we're looking for. So there's a Beckstein Model 10 upright piano, 130 centimetres tall, made in 1907 and come back into stock. So it's more exactly as we want it to be. It's beautifully smooth responsive touch. And the touch on Beckstein's when it's set, when it's refined and set right is second to none I believe.
delight to play. And you can certainly study on a piano like this. Very stable. The tuning we haven't done since it came back in and it's very already in tune. So if you're interested in the piano, please do write to us, infoatrobertspianos.com. Let us know what you'd like to do. Thank you so much for listening. <laughs>